Brush up your Shakespeare. Start quoting him now. Brush up your Shakespeare. And no women, you will wow. Just declaim a few lines from Otella. And they'll think you're a hell of a fella. If your blonde won't respond when you flatter her, tell her what Tony told Cleopatra. If she bites when her clothes you are mussing, what her clothes much ado about nothing? Brush up your Shakespeare, and they'll all cow, cow. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, well, we, we are we are Will, and I'm, I'm Kit. I guess we should explain that our names are, uh, I, I would say Shakespearean in nature, but that would not be fair to Elizabethan me. In Elizabethan in nature. Elizabethan in nature. That works. Because uh, we are literary nerds. Pretty much. Yes. All the time. Very much so. <laughs> this is our YouTube channel, and um, we're going to make awesome YouTube videos. Yes. Uh, uh, I, and we're going to be nerdy about it while we do. Yeah. I, I, I live in a dorm room far away from here. And I'm going to be there all this next semester. So to keep me from going insane with boredom and whatnot, <laughs> uh, we are going to be making videos back and forth. So I guess, first of all, we should lay down the rules of our... Rule number one. The rules. The rules. Rule number one. Yeah, that's rule number one. <laughs> um, you have to drink tea while you make your video, which we failed so far at doing because we're this, not drinking tea. We can say time. this is an exception because this is our intro. Whatever. Video. Rule number two. You must mention a book, whether it is a book you're reading, or a book you like, or a book you think the other person should read. Book. Just a book. Any book. book. You must keep, or the video must be a minimum of two minutes long. And no epically long videos that are like unless ten minutes. Unless there's a good reason for it. If yeah, there's a good unless reason you like, for it, go on an adventure an and it takes ten minutes. What four. was another one? Oh, four, you must wear some form of clothing that is not normally what you wear. Right now we're wearing stickers. Mine says France. Mine says Italy. Really Italy. Um, so something out of the ordinary. Fifth, or we said something about you have to quote your playwright. Oh, yes. You have Whether to it be in the title playwright. of the video or sometimes. It's so much video. easier than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. That I you need to do research. You need to go and find launched a thousand ships. Yeah, okay, and you can't repeat quotes more than once in a month. How about that? Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll just go through Doctor Faustus line by line and do a line per That's day. That's cheating. You have to you have to bring some culture to these poor people. Okay, they have to know okay, okay, about okay. Marlowe. I mean, right. and I'll teach them about Shakespeare. It will be easier, but <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll I'll go read about. I'll go read some Marlowe. I don't, good for I don't even know what else he wrote. Did he, he didn't oh. write as much as Shakespeare, though, I like know. extensively. Because well, he died. Well, yeah. But we should find out. This yeah. is bad. We should have found this out before we did this video, but. And uh, tried to appear cultured and like. Oh, no, yeah, we know. We know. We know about Shakespeare. We know all about Christopher Marlowe. He was born on April 23rd in 1564 and died on April 23rd in 1616. <laughs> hey. Yay. Okay, we should talk about books now. Yay! Yay! Books. Okay, look. Let's talk about Thursday next. Yay! Yay! Okay. These books are like the coolest the best books ever. that it's possible to read. Gosh, how do you describe them? The premise is they take place in an altern alternate reality version of Great Britain in 18... Mm. No, 1985. <laughs> 1985. Literature is very important. Yes, it's the pop culture of that world. Warms the heart. <laughs> it does indeed. And there are lots of amazing literary jokes that oh, are so many literary jokes. I'm really excited so about. So many literary jokes. <laughs> and and not just not just literature jokes. I mean you don't have to be extremely well read to get a lot of these jokes. Sometimes they're just like if you if you know anything about grammar, you can yeah. get these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> like he does them. stuff with the font and the capitalization and like the spelling of words that he doesn't really come across when you listen to it. Yeah. So you have to go and read the book. Uh, Should we quote something? Quote something. We'll quote Shakespeare since I... Or no, we can do my one quote. <laughs> or should I save my one quote for when I well, actually need if, it? Well, if, if you use it now, you can't use it until February. Okay, let's, so do let's do Shakespeare. Let's do Shakespeare. Save that. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Um, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Um, how can we quote Shakespeare? There are so many ways. Do you remember the whole thing? It's your um, line. Oh, right. Um, she, she played Juliet. She should know this line. Night, good night, parting is such sweet sorrow. 
I will say good night and but I shall say good night till it be moral. Yay, Shakespeare quote. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Hush up your Shakespeare and they'll all now now. We got our tea, belatedly. Yeah.